Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. When we last left off, we were about to fight the big worm guy, and he kind of sucks. We've got a lot of options with how we want to deal with him, including an option where we can essentially kill him for free. Uh, yeah, but I'm probably not going to do that way. Just because um, I kind of like just fighting him, you know? I like fighting things in this game. It fun you. Uh, we've got an ass ton of powder here that we could use. And we are probably going to use it. There we go. Can make a lot of fire rounds. Just because. Uh, we might as well start getting some use out of the grenade launcher because standard rounds for the grenade launcher are useless. You know, as we've discussed before. Um, let's take the grenade launcher. We're not going to use freeze rounds. Freeze rounds are reserved for a certain wandering turd. Uh, so we'll keep those in our back pocket. It might take some of those. Uh, we've got this. We've got the enhanced shotgun. The enhanced shotgun's okay. You know, I actually... I do like the enhanced weapons. I think we will heal, our, heal ourselves as well. I do like the enhanced weapons. Oh. We have more. But I do... Um, I do prefer the enhanced pistol. I, I don't know why. I... I think the enhanced pistol rounds just feel more powerful, you know. Um, I mean, the hunters can be killed uh, with one or two shotgun shells, depending on how lucky you get. And it's the same with the enhanced shells as well. You would have thought that the enhanced shells would always guarantee you take them out with one shot, but they don't. In fact, quite often it takes two. In fact, pretty much always takes two. Oh dear. Yeah. Well, I know what it looks like, Jill. But this is a family friendly channel, so I ain't got a fucking clue how that thing designed to turn up. How that thing even came to be. That's pretty fugly. Now, you can see these flame rounds actually do a good amount of damage to it, actually. Now, if we spent ages just waiting, we could actually kill this thing really easily. By, um... Come on. By just waiting out the time. Oh, God. That was bad. And eventually, these things will, these lights here, will become loose. And then we can shoot those lights. And we can kill it instantly for free. Which, you know, is fine. But I find that's a little bit janky to do it that way. Uh, it seems to just take a really long amount of time for that to actually activate. Here he comes. Here he comes. Come on, you big dick. I mean, because he, he actually... He, he looks like a dick. He really does. Come on, dude. This way. Come yeah, on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, you hit me. I think he's... Yeah. How much damage has he done? Uh, he hasn't actually really done any damage to us. Oh, here we go. Now, that's going to loosen those lights. I mean, I uh, guess we could show it, I suppose. I mean, most people that have played this game already know this, but... Oh, that's going to hurt. Yeah. He actually knocked us into that there, which was really unfortunate, to say the least. There we go. Now both of those are down. Next time he goes past, he should get fried. Yeah. That was really unfortunate. If he hadn't knocked us into that water, we probably would have done that without taking any meaningful damage. Ugh, let's play as cursed in full effect, guys. Anyway, let's get out of here. Right, we need to go back the way we came. 
Oh, spiders this time. See, when I was playing this uh, on my own, we found uh, the big dicks babies down here. And those little worm parasite guys. So that's different. was not expecting spiders. I mean, I guess it's funny, actually. Uh, I was talking to Reva about, um, you know, the fact that there's quite a lot of blue herbs in this game. And there doesn't really seem to be too much in this game that can actually poison you. But I guess that depends on the dice rolls. Depending on how lucky and unlucky you get, you know. Maybe someone might encounter lots of poisonous spiders and the like. And somebody else, you know, might might not. Come on, guys. Let's get this over with. Come on. Pucker up. Nice and tight. Oof. Yes. Uh, ooh. Ooh, okay, okay. We can handle this. Actually, talking of handling this. <laughs> yeah! A zombie! A zombie survived the grenade rounds. Oh, dude. They really... Did. Oh, I can't leave her wandering on her own, can I? That's just not, not right, is it? Um, a zombie survived a grenade round. Ooh, I mean, I knew they're rubbish, but that's, that's extra, you know? That's really bad. Oof. I mean, I suppose, as I said before, the, the literal only reason that, that grenade rounds exist in this game is to be converted into something... Well, a little bit spicier. Right, let's get out of here. Now we've got a sh we've got a choice coming up here. Um, what do you mean you don't need to use it, Jill? Bloody padlocks right in front of you, for God's sakes! Yeah, we got a choice here. So because we have a choice here, I'm going to show both endings. Technically, there's three different endings of this game, but uh, you only get two different FMVs at the end, I think. So, I'm going to drop a save here, just so it's easier for me to come back and show you the different endings. Uh, yes. Let's go. Oof. We're really close to the end now. Ooh. No. Looks like our date's back. Stars. Now, I like just shoving this guy off. Uh, because it gets rid of him for ages. But if we do that, we won't get the Barry ending. So. Stars. Stars. Yeah. So anyway, if we do that, unfortunately, that means he's still going to be wandering around in the dead factory. But, you know, that's okay. Let's go. Also, we now attack the dead factory from below instead of above. Nothing here. Curious. Alright, let's start having a look around. Uh, now, I can't remember if we want to pick that one up. Oh, I'm going to save state here. Just, I have a feeling. Yeah, because both of these we get right at the end of the game. Um, I think there's two... Let me just check. I have got my list here. Because technically we've come through the wrong way. Uh, okay, my list isn't exactly clear. Right, I'm going to save state. I don't care. Just because... We'll save it there. Just because I don't want to pick up the files in the wrong order. Security manual. So this one is... Alright, let's just 
bank it a minute. Yeah, right, so that's... Okay, it's actually really annoying. So that means we've got to come back here later just to pick this file up. Which we actually might have to come back here later anyway. Uh, yeah, let's put the standard grenades back. Because... Actually, let's just put the whole grenade launcher back. Uh, the assault rifle and the enhanced shotgun should carry us through this quite comfortably. Yeah, so we can't pick that manual up. Again, this is probably why it's better to do it the other way. Um, but then you don't get the cool Barry ending, which, ah, oh man, it's, it's a bit shit, but never mind. Now, now we have everybody's favorite puzzle down in this room. A device to check the water quality. We need to get the water sample, but oh god, I hate I hate I hate the capital H this puzzle. And it's probably going to burn a hell of a lot of time. Well, I don't know. It, because it's randomized like everything else, sometimes it's just easy, sometimes it's, you know, you can look at it and it just clicks. Uh, oh, the water sample's there. What a bell end. Yeah, sometimes it just, like, clicks and, and, you know, Robert's your father's fucking uncle or some shit. And then other times, I, when I did this on my own, it took me about 25 minutes to get it just right. Um, yeah, may, maybe not quite that long, but it, it felt like ages. So, anyway, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I think actually that... I think it's the same. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to do that. Right, okay. So... I want to move that. So we need two... Over there. They're going to have to be two bits on their own. Right. Back. So A might be good. Uh, so we need two bits to start with. Yeah, pretty sure. Now, notice how the, the blocks are. They uh, only seem to attach themselves uh, to the right side of the green um, bars, or the green lines, I guess. So, to fill in the left side of the green bar, you actually need a full long uh, line. So, I guess we need to start off with a full length line. So what does that look like? That matches up there. Right, okay. That might work. Now, B. Uh... Yeah, B's out of alignment. The second to last uh, piece doesn't match. Huh. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, that might be my world record of ever solving that and for the record no no that is a different pattern to what i had before looking at it it's similar but it, yeah it's different especially the last few pieces yeah the, the last few blocks look different okay uh i'm happy i'm happy i thought that was the same actually then for a minute but it's not it's def definitely not uh okay 
Ultraviolet rays are applied to the water. There's a tiny slot where a plastic card could fit. Hmm. Okay. See, I don't think I came back down here with the key card. Because you can, I think, come back down here and do something with that. So here we have a save room. And because I did that so fucking fast, I'm going to save it there. Oh, yeah, I don't know why I was moaning, actually, because this is actually a save room. Uh, right, we need to come back here anyway. Because um, there might be hunters out here now. There's something out here. Nope, maybe not. Oh, there's zombies out here. I was going to say, I knew I could hear something. Uh, Rescuing you is becoming a full-time job. Uh-huh. Cheers, buddy. Listen closely, Joe. They're going to launch a missile directly into the city as soon as day breaks. Uh-oh. At dawn? But, but that's only... I know. We don't have much time left. We have to split up and find a way out of here. And hey, watch out for that traitor Nikolai. Hey, you're getting a little bit too uh, touchy-feely there, buddy. Okay. Uh, thanks for the save, though, I guess. Uh, we want to go back this way. Alright, well, let's start exploring the facility. Now we can take upstairs. Yeah, of course, because uh, we do get that plastic card key later on. But, ooh, brain suckers. Alright. Well, let's take that one out the easy way. These guys suck. Um, yeah, not a fan of these things at all. Really? Oh, come on. There we go. Ooh, stuck that down the fucker's throat. Yep, they do that, which is really annoying. Oh, no, Jill, I didn't want you to pick up the ammo, Jill. I wanted you to turn around and shoot the fucker in the face. Ugh, Jill. Jill. You're meant to be the smart one, Jill. Good lord. Well, fine. I mean, hey, shotgun shells, right? Uh, I don't think we can go into that. It is filled with a nasty smelling liquid. Yeah, no shit. Look at it. This scene here is really ominous. This one right here. You can see like all the dissolved bodies and stuff where they've been melting everything down with acid. It's, um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty rough. I like these old scenes in these games. Uh, I, we shall push the button. Now, zombies, really? Okay, happy with that. Ooh, they don't even know I'm here. Wakey, wakey, fuckers. Oh, come on. That was, that was bad, but you know. It's not as if we're, you know, counting the rounds or anything. We've got quite a lot in stock. Not bad. And we've got some health now. I mean, not that we were really, you know, low on health, but I guess one can never have too much. Hey, dick breath. What? What? To you too, pal. Spread your brain all over the place. Lovely. Um, I won't reload the shotgun just yet because we're not going to get any more. I uh, will take them out. We're not going to... 
Hmm. Yeah, we're not going to take any more, uh, make any more decent ammo, so. Hey, Nikolai. <laughs> Nikolai? Yeah. Okay. Different. I do like how different this game is. It's cool. It's fun to play it. Right, we need to pick this one up first, this diary here. And let's go make some... Uh, we can't really. <laughs> and another first aid spray. Uh, sure, why not, right? Uh, I'm not sure if there's any more red herbs. Uh, I didn't find any when I was playing this. But maybe there is. We don't need that for a little while yet. I don't think we will swap that out. Or that. Oh, it's even got some shells in it. Nice. Uh, now, what should we do with this? Uh, should we take... I mean, go on then. We'll take the mine thrower launcher thing. Seems a shame to just leave it to go to waste. Oh yeah, and there's a you know another first aid spray there. We were down to our last million, so that's nice. Okay, let's mix up some more gunpowder C, because gunpowder C is life, yo. All right, and let's go make ourselves an absolute bucket of freeze rounds, just because freeze rounds are life. Um, 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 um. Where's the standard rounds? Standard load ain't for every road, chief. Where's the standard rounds? Am I being simple? In a manner of speaking. Can we apply those? No. There we go. 19. So, how many do we have? 12. Okay. 31. Considering I kind of screwed up making loads of those. Um, that's not bad actually. That's not bad at all. Uh, right, okay. Yeah, we'll keep that equipped. I mean, we're at that point in the game where we're just using weapons up just for the fun of it. Right. We shall take the facility key. And we shall have a read of the diary. April 25th. Today is my 30th birthday. Oh, oh, to be 30 again. I was transferred to this facility today. I am very happy because the work environment is very different from life in the university. May 14th. The disposal system has been completed. Using a special kind of gas, it can decompose the cells of the guinea pigs. We have to try this out before beginning practical usage of the system since it's not 100% stable yet. May 20th, while I was checking the treatment room, the door shut and I was locked inside. I couldn't get out for one hour. I guess even if you have the keycard, it's useless when you're locked inside. June 7th, the guinea pigs we have to dispose are in, of are increasing. The system is not working smoothly. The laboratory staff doesn't listen to my opinions and I'm getting extremely frustrated. July 16th, we can't dispose of all the bodies and the quantity of the liquid medicine is not good enough either. Uh, the liquid medicine? What liquid medicine? For the bodies? I don't know. Uh, through the function of the system, although the function of the system decreases, the number of bodies we have to dispose doesn't. The infection level has increased and the antibodies we're using is no match for the new mutation of the virus. Oh. 
Some of the workers have been infected by the disease. I have continued to work, but I always keep a gun with me. I must remember to save one bullet for me. I want to weep. I don't want to die here. I swear that I'll lose my mind if I imagine how painful the death will be. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, that sounds pretty rough. I'm not gonna, not gonna deny that. And we've gone through the wrong door. Because of course we have. No, we have not gone through the wrong door. Titan, you are a moron. Right, okay. We're almost out of time as well. Yeah, there's more blue herbs there, but we really don't need them. Um, now. This puzzle's a little bit annoying. I'm not sure if it's randomized. It's not difficult, really. A little bit of trial and error, you can kind of get it going. Uh, I th think. I think you just have to push all the buttons once. Maybe. Um, let's have a little look. See if that's done what we want. Yes, okay. Both vents are venting at the same time. So yeah, okay, the solution to that is quite easy. You just push all the buttons once. And then we can push this button. Boop. Power has been supplied to the safety system. Excellent. Okay. And now we can go through there. The lock seems to have been released. Uh, oh god, I forgot about that. Whoops. Sorry, uh, Jill. Didn't mean to fry your face there. Okay. Now, this one. Card key reader. So you never went... Never explored these extra areas, actually. Maybe we'll explore these extra areas. Seems like a good thing to do. Um, what are we on? We're on like 28 minutes. Ugh. Uh, I guess, really, we should probably call it here. Uh, uh, cat. Excuse me. Uh, no, we've, we've had this discussion, cat, about you jumping up on my workstation, haven't we? You can pretty much go anywhere you want in this place, except on my desk. Oh, and on my consoles. Little bugger. Yeah, I think I'm going to end this video here, guys. Uh, and when we come back, we are going to... <sighs> I, yeah, finish the game, I guess. I can't see why not. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.